Brussels, Belgium, the capital of the European Union and the city that I've had the privilege of calling home for the past four months. There are two social issues of importance that have particularly interested me. First, I've noticed the strict importance of recycling and recycling correctly around Brussels, as well as splitting the trash up into the correct color bags. They are very specific about which items belong in which bag. But the issue I'd like to explore more that affects me daily is the public transportation in Belgium and the importance that they stress on it here. For cities that have a high population, which in Brussels is over 1 million people living and working here, they simply cannot deal with the congestion and pollution that arise with the staggering number of vehicles per capita. Public transportation has what economists call returns to scale, meaning the more users, the greater the economic benefit. Yet, road traffic displays the diminishing returns to scale. To promote public transportation, they also have many print media advertisements encouraging all Belgian residents and tourists to purchase a daily or monthly metro pass and to stop driving and start riding. Here you can see how crowded it gets and the high returns to scale. I decided to interview Professor Megan Mowry more about the issue. She's our Clemson Law Professor who has lived here in Brussels two separate times. Absolutely. Um, primarily because I think that, that Europe generally is a, is a public transportation culture and in the United States it's all about the car. Um, it's, it's incredibly convenient here because of the way it's set up. One of the problems in the United States is if you go to a grocery store, you're going to have you know, 15 bags. And there's no way to get 15 bags on a tram and be able to carry them, let alone um, um, transport them all to your house. That's what they do here. You know, they go to the store, they pick up like five things, and they, they're going like five times a week, but it's right down the block. So it's just, it's just a different way of... of organizing yourself and organizing your, 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 your activities. The investment in, 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 in changing uh, public transportation in the United States is going to be fundamentally different because in Europe the, the, the distances are, are so much shorter and, and the distances in the United States are so much grander. So you can drive for hundreds of miles and still be in the same state in in the United States, it, it, that's not true in Europe. So you, it, it's it's beyond a completely different approach to public transportation. But it may be it may require a, a rethinking about what is necessary to get public transportation to work in the United States because the distances are different. Since being immersed in the culture, I have seen firsthand the importance of keeping as many cars as possible off the roads and having residents take full advantage of the metro system to help save the environment. Shifting car transportation to public transportation reduces pollution and noise and helps conserve open space as well as support other environmentally friendly transportation modes. Do you love the metro? Oh, I love the metro. Good. Day broke hair. Culture is the whole way of life, and we absolutely feel that we have become a part of the culture here and share the same practices as the Belgians. I am certainly going to miss economically friendly Belgium.